$68.7 billion. I feel like. Uh, That's crazy. Of the, but the crazy part is, is when you really start thinking about Game Pass and what's going to happen. Like, that's a perfect screen right there. Yeah. Sork. Yeah. I mean, you know, Overwatch, Diablo, Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, heck, even Candy Crush. You know, <laughs> you're, like, th- when you think about those titles and you think about Game Pass. You know, and I've I've read some stuff. I've seen some tweets. You know, I've tried to follow it, follow it all day as best I could while still working. Um, but you know, and there are a lot of people that are torn. But I truly believe. I think Call of Duty. You know, you don't spend that kind of money, and not make Call of Duty an Xbox exclusive. Well, they've, and, you know they've, what I mean? and they've very explicitly said that some of these titles will be on Xbox Game Pass and things like that. I'm sure there might be a strategy to it. I, I, it's so, more interesting, what was that number again? It's something near $70 billion. Yes. And now you, I, and I remember, I feel like the same conversation happened when Bethesda, which owns Doom, Fallout, uh, Elder right. Scrolls, um, when that got purchased, I feel like you're saying exactly the same thing. It's like Christmas. Oh, my God. Game Pass is yeah. going to be so great. And we've seen that. We have all this stuff. Even an update. I'm playing a new Quake multiplayer mode on the original Quake. What is this? Uh, right. So things like that, right? So so like with that, and how much did they pay for that? Do you, do you have that number in front of you? I think I know it off the top of my head. I don't. I It was it was a couple – was it seven? Yeah, I think it's no. seven billion dollars yeah, was what was... they paid for that. So that they've gone from like that to that is ridiculous. Yeah, um, but but, but, know, but how this much is, a is whole it? Different yeah, company. yeah, yeah. It's Activision it, and lot. Blizzard. Um, yeah. Now, I, I and I have a feeling part of the reason why this has happened is there's a little bit of baggage that does come with that, right? Oh, that's and that's probably one of the main reasons why they even entertain the idea because. Let's be honest. There's going to be some house cleaning going on. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Things in the Activision Blizzard world have had their, let's say, trouble. <laughs> um, a lot of a lot of uh, bad work environment, a lot of sexual harassment and uh, uh, sexual sexual harassment, um, 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 encouraged environments. I guess you could yeah. say. Uh, and they've they've come down with a lot of labor um uh, fines. In one article I read in, in California specifically, so uh, the CEO is going to stay there. Um, Microsoft well, has they been. They say he's going to stay for now you, until you know. yeah until the deal closes. Apparently, um, but and and I did I I you know in retrospect I do Microsoft has been really cagey. Phil Spencer and and other maybe other executives uh, when I've seen quotes from them when asked about the um, the environment issues there. And, and, and Activision Blizzard is not the only one. I think EA might have had a little bit happening. Uh, Ubisoft, uh, also notoriously bad uh, in, in this way. Um, a lot of these big game studios just just not just not great environments. Um, but hopefully this means there will be, you know, you got the brands and the games coming over, and you have a whole company in charge to hopefully... Uh, 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 positively Rated influence it. it a little bit. I'm not yeah. saying Microsoft is perfect when it comes to this either, but I mean they're just going over some policies right now be- uh, because of the whole Bill Gates controversy lately. Um, but uh, but 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 th- this is hopefully good news for all that. Otherwise, for gamers, it's great. Oh I'm, yeah, I'm hoping too. It helps outside the firms because I think even externally, some of the deals that blizzard has lo- activision blizzard has lost like their their lego agreements are now on hold due really to, to yeah so there was a bunch of overwatch 2 sets that were going to release from lego that lego is actually reviewing their agreements and has put all, all lego sets on hold um wow and while it's probably not you know a huge blow financially um, getting that word out and getting people interested. I know our Christmas holiday even found some. They're, they're not actually officially Lego. There's I can't remember who makes them, but there were a lot of Pokemon sets that came into the house <laughs> um, as part of Christmas. So I know it does help, you know, get the word out. It's almost like free advertising as as people have that stuff up around their house and other kids see it. Um, 
I'm just interested in what it means. I think um, Krauss touched on it briefly. What does this mean from an exclusive perspective? Um, are we going to see things, you know, day one on Microsoft platforms with like a later release on other systems? I know Sony at times has paid for DLC to release first on their platforms or exclusive DLC. Um, I'll be interested to see what this means mm -hmm. for the competition as well as, you know, I'm actually moved playing Overwatch. I moved off of the Xbox platform and over to Nintendo Switch. So what does this mean for them as well? And then will we see some games come to the Xbox that may, maybe weren't xbox and we're just pc before mm -hmm. um i think it's going to be it's going to be a it could cause a huge upset across the gaming industry um but it could also create a large boon for microsoft uh, one of the official lines on this uh not not answering of course the what's going to happen on other platforms but one of the quotes from um, Xbox's own news pages upon close they will offer many Activism Blizzard games as we can uh, within Xbox Game Pass and PC Game Pass both with new titles and games from Activism Blizzard's incredible catalog I think you're going to see things like like the the Warcraft and, and Diablo and Starcraft back catalog dropping on at least PC uh, PC Game Pass PC, PC Game Pass is going to be even more incredible I think after this um, you know things like that. So I, I, I think I think for anything this, I mean, you can look at. Um, I think you can look at Minecraft and you can look at um, the Bethesda deal. You know what has changed for other platforms? Are there uh, you know have, have have although has it been around long enough that we've had had any uh, new games come out that um, we've noticed any change? But you know either way, the back is still there and the back is still on whatever platforms they're on, right? So for the time being, but. You know, over the years, I mean, this this a deal like this doesn't mature for till, until I don't know about three years out to figure out what happens with something like that. So, uh, well, you know, and I agree, Sorg and and Microsoft, the the uh, Phil Spencer, he always says, look, his whole tag is, we don't care where you play, just as long as you play, and and you know, Microsoft is out to make money. I don't know if anybody realizes what? that or not, but you know. So it's not like they're gonna they're gonna stop these games from coming out. You know, uh, yeah, maybe they will make them exclusive, but like the Warzone piece, will that stay? You mm -hmm. know, cross platform. You know, I, I don't know. You know, but even if they do offer the games, you have to think like, okay, as a parent, okay, John, for example, you know, let's say Christopher right now wants to get into gaming. And you go to your local game store, and they say, okay, well, you can buy the PS5, and you can pay $60 a game, or you can buy the Xbox One X, and oh, by the way, this, 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 this is all included for one monthly fee. Like, it's a very compelling argument, you know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. If you're just a Call of Duty player and you want to play on the PlayStation and it's still going to be offered, you'll pay your 60 bucks a year, you'll have your PlayStation, and you'll play your game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But for those of us that like to play m many different kinds of games, I think it really helps reinforce the investment I made in the Xbox. Wasn't you know, there was there a rumor it. at some point about a games with gold or a, a game pass from Microsoft coming to perhaps a Nintendo Switch idea? Was that a thing that floated around like I, a like a year ago, I thought? I don't I don't remember that, but but it creates the interesting point, Ron, you know, you said Phil Spencer said, you know, they don't care where you play as long as you're playing wouldn't it be funny if i could buy an xbox game pass subscription, that also for, your PlayStation? subscription for my playstation <laughs> well hey who knows i guess crazier things have happened right yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's all opening up and um uh this is actually the first place i heard this actually was a wrestling chat <laughs> with wrestlers <laughs> and 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 we were having some conversation with it and i was like they're like uh somebody said um 
um, uh, game over, game, like ga- game over. Microsoft's won everything, and I said the next deal is Sony buying Square Enix. Right? Like, yeah. isn't this weird? Isn't this like this consolidation? It's it's like the TV studio. It's you know where where you know all you know Comcast, uh, uh time whatever Time Warner is now. AT and T are they still AT and T now? Verizon just buying all the content. To go on their platforms. I mean, uh, um, we're really kind of hitting a big, uh, a big inflection point as far as video games go as well. So I, I want to mention one more video game thing, and then we got plenty of other awesome things that are not video games for the rest of the show uh, to be. Talk-